I am Dr. Sushant Kumar, Consultant Nephrologist, Professor and Head, Department of Nephrology, Kasturba Medical College, Mangalore. Today, briefly, I would like to speak about kidney failure and the various options of treatment available. Broadly, there are two types of uh, kidney failure. One we call as acute kidney injury and second one is called as chronic kidney disease. Acute kidney injury, as the name implies, it happens suddenly and usually recovers after a short span of time. The commonest cause for acute kidney injuries, it could be dehydration, it could be some glomerular nephritis, it could be uh, obstruction because of stone, prostate, etc. And uh, acute kidney injury can even be an silently affected kidney because of some systemic problem elsewhere in the body like infection, it could be uh, pneumonia, urine infection, skin infection, etc. Or it can be even due to a major illness like connective tissue, what we call as vasculitis. So kidney ultimately takes the brunt and if detected early, treated promptly, there can be even complete recovery of kidney injury in acute kidney injury. So the treatment in acute kidney injury comprises mainly treating the cause whatever is the cause, it could be infection, it could be stone removal or it could be a, a disease like vasculitis what I just mentioned. When the acute kidney injury is severe, needing dialysis, then dialysis is indicated, usually temporary. So any time between one week to three weeks, generally the kidney recovers. Until then, we may have to do kidney dialysis in this acute kidney injury form. Second type of uh, kidney disease is called as chronic kidney disease. As the name implies, it is chronic. That means it is there from a long duration. And usually the problem here is it is progressive and not uh, reversible. So the common causes for uh, chronic kidney disease worldwide is diabetes, most common cause. Other causes could be uncontrolled blood pressure or several forms of glomerular nephritis interstitial nephritis, stone disease, prolonged NSAID use, it could be even congenital or hereditary causes of kidney disease. So coming to the treatment aspect of uh, chronic kidney disease, in the beginning stages, uh, we try to maximally slow down the progression of the disease, that is the patient reaching to dialysis. This is in various form, like you need to have good uh, sugar control, very good blood pressure control, dietary control like protein restriction, salt, potassium restriction, fluid restriction if indicated and weight reduction, abstinence from alcohol or smoking and uh, anti-proteinuric measures like different drugs and some nephroprotective drugs what we use. These are all things to uh, indirectly slow the progression of the disease. In a specific nephritis like disease, we have to treat with maybe some immunosuppression drugs as well. So ultimately, as I said, any chronic disease, uh, chronic kidney disease usually progresses to end stage renal disease, that is stage 5 of chronic kidney disease, wherein uh, dialysis is indicated. Here the dialysis will be permanent lifelong. So when the patient reaches end stage kidney disease, the option of treatment is either dialysis, could be a hemodialysis or a peritoneal dialysis. Hemodialysis will be done thri thrice weekly, lifelong, wherein the patient has to come to the hospital for the same. If it is peritoneal dialysis, that has to be done every day and it will be done at home, but both under the supervision of a nephrologist. Next best option for uh, chronic kidney disease treatment is called as renal transplantation. This is the best treatment available for kidney transplantation. Uh, here the suitable donor uh, and a well matched kidney is generally put in a recipient's uh, body and here main thing is patient has to receive immunosuppression lifelong. You cannot stop the immunosuppressive drugs at all because that will uh, trigger rejection and the kidney can be lost. Take home message what I would like to give here is. Most of the kidney diseases are silent and can be totally missed. So hence, it is better to screen for kidney disease irrespective of the age and sex 
and pick the disease early and get treated thank you